Good evening, folks. How are we all tonight? Before we begin, I'd like to thank you all for coming. Oftentimes, when dealing with a moment in history, we tend to forget the individuals that were truly affected by the events themselves. It is with this in mind, I'd like to take you back to the year 2018. It was a time of great uncertainty within our fine country and dissatisfaction was heavy on the hearts of most. However, I'm not here to make sense of complex national ideologies. Instead, I'm here to tell the story of a woman. A woman who left her country when she was just 10 years old. She left her country to board a ship, the Empire Windrush, which you may have heard of. Her memories of a said place are few and far between. Her mind is too full of the 60 years spent in this country, her motherland. She now lives alone in a flat in London. To some outsiders, it might not seem like much, but to her it's home. Oftentimes with old age, she spends a lot of it by herself watching the news. Recently though, it's been causing her more concern with stories on acts of racism being reported. She begins to wonder if her own citizenship is in question. And this begins to grow in her every day until one day it appears on her doorstep in the form of a letter. A letter that contains so much fear that she's unable to see through it. She's been told to leave. To those whom the gods wish to destroy, they first make mad. She is going mad. Pleading her case with only reason on her side. But what could this reason when no one around her seems to care? No phone calls made or letters sent can make any difference. She's been told to leave this country and go back to a place she can barely remember. A country where she's a stranger. She's a stranger in her own home. I can't help but to think about this story and many others like it and what it says about our society. They say that things have changed. I really hope they have. I can think of no greater shame than this to have happened only for it to happen all over again. 